Oh hallelujah what a glorious what a blessed evening Oh imana ishimwe mbega umugoro bamwiza mbega umugoro wa wicyubahiro I am welcoming you all in the name of Jesus Mwese mbahayikaze mwizina rya Yesu This is our evening service this is today is Friday Uyu ni umunsi wo kwa gatano dufite amateraniro y'umugoroba We are so thankful to the Lord Jehovah for having given us such a uh, a wonderful moment to come together. Turashimira Imana cyane iduhaya aya mahirwe yo kugira ngo duteranire hamwe. I know we may not be able to come together physically but we are doing it spiritually. Ndabizi ko kubana hamwe kubigaragara ntago byoroshye ariko turimo kubikora mu mwuka turi hamwe. Po emphasized this uh, several times by saying that even though I'm not with you physically but I am with you spiritually. Paulo rero yagiye abishimangira keshi yandikira ubwoko bw'Imana ati nubwo ntari kumwe namwe kubigaragara ariko ndi kumwe namwe mu mutima So we are not able to meet physically as per now but spiritually we are together and we are being connected at least by the social medias ntabwo turi mwo kubonana imbona nkubone ariko nibura turi kumwe mu mwuka tubifashijwemo I'm welcoming you all. Jubilee Revival Assembly members. Our lovers, our well-wishers, our uh, our partners. I'm welcoming you all in the name of Jesus Christ. It's a precious moment, it's a blessing to be able to communicate to you the word of the Lord. So please keep on being with us, keep on following us through our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel. I have always told you that every time you will be blessed, please share the link with your friends and your family members. We are going to begin our service by having a moment of prayer. So please can we concentrate, can we focus? I know uh, some of you are watching when you are at home, at uh, places of work, others are watching when they are traveling. So you can be I, I know I know I know most of you are busy, but we can concentrate and have a time of prayer together. Ndabizi benshi kuko dukoresha imbuga nkoranyambaga murimo gukurikirana mu kiri mu kazi muri mu rugo muri mu nzira mugenda mu modoka ahantu hose ariko ndagusaba kanya gatoya dutuze tujye imbere y'Imana dusengere. Receive the glory heavenly Father. Dato mu juru akiri cyubahiro. Receive the praise my Lord. Mana yanje akiri shimwe. We are coming in your presence Lord. Tuje mu kwawo kwawe mwami. We glorify and we magnify your precious name. Izina ryawe turari cyubahiro kandi turari hikuzo. It is the only name that is highly exalted above the heavens. Nizina ryo nyine ryawe ryashyizwe hejuru y'amajuru. And at the confession of that name the Bible says every knee bows. Thank you Lord for the great work you have done and you are still doing in our lives Father. You saved us. You blessed us. You are always with us, Lord. You heal all our diseases. You satisfy all our needs. You feed our hunger and quench our thirst. You are our Lord and our God. Have the glory in us my Lord. We exhort you Jesus, Son of God. 
Be lifted up, be glorified, be magnified. I am praying, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hand and touch our lives once again. We surrender our lives to Lord. We surrender our hearts to Lord. Your kingdom come and your will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your power prevail in this place. Let your glory fill our lives once again. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything that you promised can be done. Increase our faith. Strengthen our hearts. Open the eyes of our understanding. Open our ears to hear. And our hearts to be sensitive. In the name of Jesus, let your word come with its healing power. Let your word come with its deliverance power. Let your word set free. Let your word bless. Let your word raise up. Let your word rebuke and teach. Let your word guide. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we share your word. Let, 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 let light shine in darkness. And whatever there has been and certainties, let everything be made clear in the name of Jesus. Your kingdom come, my God. What you did in the days of Jesus Christ. What you did in the days of Elijah, the days of Elisha, the days of Moses, and of the prophets and the apostles, Lord. Do the same today in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, God. Yes, God. Let it be done in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Receive the praise once again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Please join us and say amen. Celebrate the name of Jesus. Let's magnify the name of the Lord together. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, today I'm beginning on a sermon series I've entitled Faith. Faith series. Uh, and I will have I will be I will be having time to talk about it in depth. And particularly today. I will talk about what faith is. The definition of faith. There are certain things we don't concentrate, we don't give much time, yet the Bible uh, magnifies those same things. The Bible emphasizes on the faith of every single believer. Bibiliya ishimangira kandi hagaciro kwizera kwa buri muntu wese wakiriye Kristo. We always approach our pastors to pray for us that is fantastic. Every time we have issues, diseases, this and that, we always come to them, we call them, and sometimes we approach prayer warriors to always pray for us. But why do these people pray and they answered? And they answered. 
And sometimes we think that because they are pastors, because they are leaders, because they are apostles, that's why their prayers are answered and perhaps ours are not answered. No, no, how to keep Gira to tea. If you to Babasu is one of Quaraba Shumba, Nukuera Ko Ari Numa, Nukuera Yuko Arabunjeri, Nukuera Yuko Araba Hanuz, Nukuera Quarabinjins, the new Mavi and the Bani Vuva Kushatwe. It is known the title that causes the prayer to be answered. Nabgari Zoni to be quasi two Mabasho Ragusuvizgua. Having a past as your title will not make your prayers answered. Kuba ufite pastor nk'inyito nk'inka nk'inyito witwa ukabura umushumba ibyo sibyo bituma amasengesho ya wasubizwa We always run to these people when we have issues Iyo dufite ibibazo twirukankira abantu bantu ngo badufashe And sometimes after they pray for us we get delivered our 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 uh, we get our answers Ishura nyinshi bana dusengera nibyo tugafashwa tukabohoka tukabona ibisubizo twifuzaga What is the secret these people have developed their faith. It is not because they are special. It's not a special anointing that rests upon their lives. They have developed their faith. Any Christian, any individual can develop their faith to this level. Listen to what the apostles told their master, Jesus Christ. Lord, increase our faith. Increase our faith. Even though these guys depended on Jesus on a number of things. But they recognize the importance of the developed faith of any individual. So instead of telling him that pray for us. They told him, increase our faith. They were there was a time when he could be praying for them. And when his time to depart from them was approaching, they knew that they would need their personal developed faith. No, 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 and then they changed they, they, they changed their request to Jesus. No, no, but Angela Guhindra, we do a Savayesu. Teach. No, they, they first said, Teach us how to pray. And now they're telling him, increase our faith. No, no, but An increased, I developed faith is so important, so crucial. Kandi ndabizi yuko kwizera kongere we cyangwa kwizera kwa kuze ni kintu kingenzi mu buzima bwa Kristo. Of course the first step is having faith itself. Mu byukuri cyambere ni umuntu kuba afite kwizera. But then after having faith. Ariko nyuma yo kugira uko kwizera. Because faith is born as a baby. Kubera yuko kwizera kurabyarwa nk'umwana. So after having faith born in you. Niba kwizera kumaje kuvuka muri wowe rero. Then faith grows. Uko kwizera kugomba gukuzwa. Faith develops. Ugu kwizera kugomba gukuzwa. When faith begins to grow. Iyo kwizera gutangiye gukura. Then it begins to be fruitful. Gutangira gusohora imirimo yako. It begins to bring results before you. Gutangira kubyara umusaruro utewe na kwizera. To God be the glory. So I'm laying a foundation for the faith series. As I told you today, I want to define faith. I want you people to understand what exactly faith is. Because faith 
is a basic need. It's a basic commodity in our Christian life, our Christian journey. So we cannot neglect faith. I have to take this time to, 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 to endeavor to bring out to you, to, 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 to explain to you, to define, to teach that you may understand what faith is and the importance of faith, uh, what it is, and the development of faith, what it is. So can you turn with me to the book of Hebrews? Chapter 11. From verse 1. Let's read verse 1 and, and, and perhaps verse 2. Verse 1 says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. Kwizera nukumenya rwose ibyiringirwa udashidikanya ko bitazaba kandi niko kuduhamiriza ibyo tutareba ko ari Faith, now let me read you from the Amplified Bible. Mm. Now faith is assurance, the confirmation, the title deed, of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see, mm. and the conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they are trying to define to us in brief what faith means. Let me first emphasize how important faith is. Because after having understood how important faith is, then you will have the curiosity to know what it is. Sometimes we are not curious to know about faith simply because we don't understand the heaviness, the weight of it. The importance of faith. There are two great statements which are made in the Bible about faith. The first statement is found in Hebrews 11.6. It says, without faith it is impossible to please God. Imagine such a thing that you can never please God without. So this is how important faith is. So instead of shutting your ears against these words, instead open them and hear. The Bible is very clear. Without faith, you can never please the Lord. Without faith, pleasing God is impossible. That is the first statement. The second statement is found in the book of Romans chapter 14 verse 23. Twenty-three. It says, anything that does not come from faith is sin. You can read there yourself. Anything you do, anything you say, whatever you think of, that does not root that does not 
come from faith. It is sin. This is how crucial. This is how heavy. This is how important faith is. So all these things that we do and they are not originating from faith, the Bible, the Bible is clear those things are sin. No wonder the first verse, the, 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 the previous verse already says it is impossible to please God. Why? Because these things we do without faith are sin. This is how important faith is. Let me talk to you about some, some, some other thing before I go deep deep into the explanation of faith. Every time we talk about faith, there are a lot of Christians who feel inadequate. And they think they do not have faith at all. That's not true. The fact that you believe in Jesus, you have faith. Because you accepted him without having seen him physically. You've never, uh, you've never met him anywhere. You've never heard his audible voice. There, there has never been a supernatural a uh, revelation of himself to you. Yet you trust him. You believe him. You may be weak, I know. Maybe not as strong as someone else you know about. The only difference that is between you and that person you admire is that your faith is at its lowest level. And theirs were developed. Look at a child of two months. And look at a boy of 15 years. And these people, humans, both, they are. The difference is one is stronger. One is developed. And the other one is not, not yet. So we all have faith as long as we profess Jesus as our Lord. A seed of faith was planted in us. It is there. So it, 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 it might be at its lowest level. But it is there. You don't have to acquire faith. You only have to grow your faith. It is the unbelievers who have no faith in God. But as long as you belong to Jesus, as, as long as you are a child of God, as long as you are born again, you are born of the Spirit. And you have been born again of the incorruptible seed of God. So the seed of faith is in you. All you need is to grow it, is to develop it. But it is there. 
That little faith of yours. It has the potential to do exploits. That small faith of yours can raise the dead. Yes, yes you heard me well. I said you heard me well. That little faith of yours can heal the crippled people. Can heal diseases. That little faith of yours. This is why Jesus said that now, now actually, actually, Jesus was re replying to the request, to the prayer request of the apostles. When they approached him and told him, Master, increase our faith. Now, they did not say give us faith. Because they knew they had some. So all they needed was the growing faith. Come on. They never spoke to Jesus that give us faith. They told him increase our faith. So faith was already there. But it was very low. They had the same kind of faith that Jesus had. Only that the, the faith of Jesus had grown. And theirs was still low. So now, here, listen to the, to the, to the response of Jesus to, to them. He never denied that they had no faith. He told them, if you had faith as small as a mustard seed, you can speak to this mountain to be removed and be cast into the sea and it shall be done. What is Jesus trying to say? Currently, you may not be able to move the mountain. But your faith has that potential. When it grows, it can move mountains. It can do wonders. It can perform exploits. It can heal the sick. You have that faith. It is in you. Do you have Jesus? Are you born again? Are you a child of God? You have that faith. That seed was planted in you. It can do anything. It is, the Bible says nothing is in Possible to them that believe. To God be all the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. All oh, hallelujah. So that is how crucial. That is how important faith is. But I think this has. This, this, I have made myself clear regarding those who have faith. As long as you're a believer, you have faith. Okay? You have faith. So the reason why sometimes you pray and you don't, you don't get answers. Your faith may be at its lowest level. And some of you, when you fail to get answers, you start either to blame God or to condemn yourselves. Because you don't blame God. 
Neither should you condemn yourself. Don't think you are cast. Don't think you can never be heard by the Lord. All we need to do is to grow our faith in God. Are we come to that in the next future? But now what is faith? Let me talk to you in a few words. I will, I will, I will not take long. What faith is? I explain faith. I define faith in three words. The first word that defines faith is conviction. A convinced heart. That is the root of faith. Let me first remind you the day you received Christ. I don't know how you met Christ. Some of you visited uh, neighboring churches and after a sermon was preached by the pastor, the pastor made an altar call and you came, he laid hands, he laid hands on you and received Christ. Some of you never received Christ immediately but when you, you reached home, somehow you prayed to God and then you received Christ. Some of you never received now my question is, the day you were receiving Christ, were you joking? Was it a game? Was it a game? Were you not serious? Were you not convinced of what you are saying? Unless, maybe, okay, I cannot deny there are some people who just make confessions to impress others. There are some young men who join churches because they want to, to, they want to win some girls and they have to go forward and make those confessions. People, people do such things. There are some children whose, whose parents are Christians or even, even, even preachers and they want to show their parents that they are really born again so they go forward and make empty confessions. Those things happen. Some to receive Christ Ndimo, on their own. When you were receiving Christ, were you playing games? Were you joking? What was that? Nichi. It was a convinced heart. Faith is born. Faith begins to grow. Faith is exercised when a heart is fully convinced. 
kwizera gutangira gushora imizi kubakira ku mutima wemejwe you become convinced of certain things uremezwa udafite gushidikanya ho nagato ku bintu runaka you trust god in his word ukizera imana mu ijambo ryayo nkuko irivuga you take his promises as the ya ugafata amasezerano yayivuga ukayafata gutyo kwa rukuri kudashidikanywaho your heart is persuaded your heart is convinced your heart is fully there umutima wa ukumva uremejwe umutima wa ukumva ibyo bintu birimo neza you know he's not a liar he's not a deceiver he's not a crook he can never change his word he's steadfast he's the same today yesterday forevermore ukabubizi uko imana ntibeshya ijambo ryayo nukuri ntago ijya irimanganya ntago ijye hindagurika ntago ijye nyeganyezwa irashikamye ibyayo nukuri iriho yahozeho kandi zahora hiteka ryose you read scriptures like psalms 125 which says those that trust in the lord are like mountain zion that can never be removed that can never be moved that can never be shaken but they are steadfast forever uka ugasoma ijambo ry'Imana ugakomera ugasoma nk'ijambo ry'Imana ryanditse muri Zaburisha na 25 ngo abo ngabo biringira uwiteka bameze nk'umusozi Sioni udashobora kunyaganyezwa bahora bashikamye iteka ryose the first definition of faith is a convinced heart definition ya mbere cyangwa ijambo rya mbere risobanura kwizera let me give you one scripture about that so that you may understand this more. Romans 4. Romans 4. Let's read verse 20 and 21. Let's read verse 20 and 21. Romans 4, 20, 21. He talks about Abraham, the faith of Abraham. Havuga kukwizera kwa Abraham when he received a baby boy at the age of 100 years I read no no just first interpret ngo abonye umwana avutse ku myaka yijana and 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 the wife was about 90 years of age kandi umugore we Sara Sara afite imyaka igera 90 yet this couple had a baby Aho ngaho uyu muryango nibwo babonye umwana wabo Can you prove this can you can you explain this scientifically Ese ibi umuntu nubwo yaba ari umuhanga mu buganga bino yabisobanura gute It happened Ariko byarabaye Verse 20 Umurongo wa 22 Yet he did not waver this is Abraham Uyu ni Abraham Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God Verse 21 being fully persuaded that God had power to do what he had promised amen yes ahubwo abonye isezerano ry'Imana ntiyashidikanishwa no kutizera ahubwo akomezwa cyane no kwizera ahimbaza Imana a convinced heart amen amenya neza yuko ibyo yasezeranyijwe ibyo yasezeranije abasha no kubisohoza he knew that very well yabimenye neza that he who had promised was well able to even perform kuko uwamusezeranije afite ubushobozi bwo gusohoza icyo yasezeranije he knew that these promises were not vain yamenye neza kuri sezerana imana imuhaye ritazapfa kugenda buheri heri so his heart was fully convinced umutima we wari ufite kwemezwa kudashidikanywaho what could have caused an old man of this age to trust that he would have a child ese niki cyatumye umusaza wo muri iyi myaka kugeza imyaka 100 atarabyara gukomeza kwizera to the point of even changing his name he was he was once called abram mbere yitwaga abram meaning the exalted father bivuga ngo umusa umubyeyi father exalted father umubyeyi wabuze ushizwe hejuru yes and 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 he changed his name to abraham no neho iryo zina rarihindura yitwa abraham meaning the father 
of many nations. Someone is calling himself a father of many nations without even having a single baby. What is the meaning of that? It is a convinced heart. You get to know the one who promised. You get to know the steadfastness of his promises. You get to know his integrity. His loyalty. And then you affirm. You stand strong. And say, since he is not a liar. And he promised me ABCD. Then rest assured I will have those things. That was her, that, that is what had filled the heart of Abraham. Fully persuaded. Fully convinced. He had come to know who the Lord was. And he could never be moved at all. To God be all the praise and the glory. Conviction of the heart. I can talk about this one for days and days. A convinced that is all you need. Now listen guys. The strength or the power of any man lies in the heart. It's not the weight. It's on the size. It's on the height. It is the weight of the heart. There are some people you will meet outside there. Live alone faith. There are people you meet outside there. Who are physically tiny. But very powerful in the heart. Very strong on the inside. The conviction of the heart will open everywhere. When your heart is fully convinced. No mountain can be standing before you and block your way. When your heart is fully convinced about God's promises and His word, diseases become nothing before you. Now, let me let me let me let me let me let me shed some light on this point. There is a difference between someone who has faith and someone who is simply optimistic. People who are optimistic they simply confess positive without even trusting the Lord. Now this is very healthy. Even if someone uh, do not have faith in God but simply being optimistic is, is really healthy. Being positive Confessing positive. It is very good. And by the way, always practice that. But being optimistic will not open every door. Being optimistic will not move every mountain. 
go gutekereza neza no kwatura neza hari imisozi bitazaritura it will move some small mountains before you haru dusozi duke ya uzarenga imbere yawe but there are some mountains which require faith in god ariko hari ndi misozi ikomeye utazaritura izasaba kwizera there are some faith that require a convinced heart hari misozi runaka isaba umutima wemejwe every mountain will bow before a convinced heart na umusozi ko wabungana kose uzacira bugufi umuntu ufite kwemezwa mu mutima every red sea will part upon seeing a convinced heart buri nyanja itukura yose uyagwa yaba iri imbere yawe izagabanya kwa makabiri ubona inzira kuva umutima wawe ufite kwemezwa kungana gutyo every jordan will run backwards buri yordan yose izasubira inyuma ubona inzira so this is the first definition of faith uti rero nibwo usobanuro bwa mbere bwo kwizera it is a heart that is convinced no umutima wemezwe fully convinced wemezwe udashidikanya ho nagato the second definition of faith ubundi busobanuro bwa kabiri bwo kwizera is confession no kwatura remember wibuke everything begins from the heart ibintu byose bitangirira bihera mu mutima conviction is of the heart kwemezwa guhera mu mutima and then confession is of the mouth ndetse no kwatura nukugaragara ku munwa nuko umunwa so what fills the heart the mouth utters out ijuzu yerero umutima akanwa karabisohora for those of you who are taught to always confess positive kurabo babwe guhora mwatura neza The reason why I told you that there are certain mountains that will never move out of your way. Ah, uh, nari navuze ngo hari imisozi imwe itazashobora kuva imbere yawe udafite kwizera. Is because some of these things are spirits. No kubera yuko ibi bimwe muri ibi bintu bigaragara nk'imisozi cyangwa nk'ibintu biremere imbere yacu nk'inzitizi aha bahari imyuka ibiri inyuma. And these spirits will know that the heart is empty kandi yimyuka yo izasobanukirwa imenye yuko umutima wawe ari vide nakwizera kurimo so they can never be moved iyo rero misozi ntago izavaranwa no kwatura bya bindi byo hejuru it is not an empty talk ntabwo ari ukuvuga amagambo yumagaye it begins from the heart bigomba guhera mu mutima so out of the abundance of the heart then the, the mouth speak bihereye rero ni byuzu uyu mutima wawe akanwa kawe katangira ku byatura so the next level of faith urwego rwa kabiri rwa kwizera rero is the confession no kwatura ibyo wemera everything that is 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 in you buri kintu cyose kiri muri wowe have to be spoken out kigomba kuvugwa ukacyatura for it to be created kugira ngo gishobore kuremeka now when faith is in you only iyo kwizera kuri muri wowe gusa it can never create anything ntago kwagira ikintu kurema when faith is of the heart only iyo kwizera kuri mu mutima gusa there is not going to be creation of anything ntago hazabaho kuremwa ku bintu runaka it is the mouth that creates kubera ko nakamwa karema ibyo wizera it begins from the inside bitangirira mu mutima but it has to be released out ariko bigomba kwaturwa ukabisohora Glory to God. What does the Bible say? Should I read you one verse? In the book of Mark chapter 11. Matayo Mark. Mariko Chapter 11. Mariko I'm going to read verse 22. Umurongo wa 22. I hope you are there. Ndatekereza ko mwahageze. What does the Bible say? ivuga ngwici. Have faith in God. Mujira kwizera mu mana Jesus answered Yesu arabasubiza ati Truly I tell you if any anyone says to this mountain says to this mountain says to this mountain mm. not weeps says to this mountain if anyone says to this mountain go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their hearts now saying and doubting in the heart these things are combined together mm-hmm. in the hearts but believes that what they say will happen it will be done for them to Amen. God be the praise read yesu arabasubiza ati 
mwizera imana ndababwira ukuri yuko umuntu wese wabwira uyu musozi ati shinguka utabwe mu nyanja ntashidikanye mu mutima we yize yuko icyo avuze gikorwa yakibona here jesus emphasizes the two points i've, I've been also endeavoring to emphasize hano yesu yashimangiye kungingo ebyiri one he says the confession of the heart hano of the lips yavuze kwatuza umunwa that if anyone says to the mountain aravuga ati umuntu wese yabwira uyu musozi you don't cry before a mountain nagimbara uyu musozi baharirira you don't complain before a mountain nagwa witotomba uri imbere uyu musozi you speak to the mountain ubwira umusozi Rem, be removed shinguka hano tabwe hariya get out of my way va munzira zanje be cast to the sea ndakujugunya mu nyanja so we have to speak to our mountains tugomba kuvugana n'imisozi yacu turi imbere a lot of mountains higher than kilimanjaro higher than mountain everest higher than karisimba and muhabura they have been standing before us for ages Hari imisozi iduhagaze iduhagaze imbere mineni cyane yabaye migari yabaye miremere nka za Kirimanjaro nka za Everest nka za Muhabura iri ya misozi ikomeye hamaze imyaka myinshi yarakomeye yigize ibidaku ibidakurwa speak to those mountains iyo misozi rero ugomba kuyivugana nayo so Jesus tells us to speak to the mountains Yesu rero atubwira kuvugana n'imisozi turi imbere but he does not end there by the way ariko nta soreza ho he continues to say akavuga ati you should not doubt in your heart ngo nugomba gushidikanya mu mutima wawe so he combines the confession and the conviction at the same time in this statement kwatura no kwemezwa ku mutima so confession is 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 as important as conviction kwatura gufite uburemere nko kwemezwa because when the heart is convinced kuko uyu mutima udashidikanya and you will not speak out kandi ugaceceka ibyo wemera ntubyaturire nothing will happen nta na kimwe kizabaho and if your heart is empty ariko umutima wawe nuburi vide nta kirimo and you begin to speak out ugatangira kwaturi ibintu gusa nothing will happen nanone nta kizakorwa what is required is igikenewe rero nuko our hearts are convinced imitima yacu igombye kubifite kwizera our lips our mouth is kandi nakarwa kwacu kagomba kwatura then creation begins aho gahutangira rero kurema ibintu to god be the praise and the glory cyo bayo kibi cy'imana creation takes place kuremwa gutangira kubaho it create it takes place kurema biratangira things begin to happen ibintu bitangira kwishyira mu murongo in the name of jesus rya yesu This is Jesus. Uyu ni Yesu. These are not my mere words. Aya samagambo yanje. This is the son of God. Uyu ni umwana w'Imana. He testifies about the same thing I'm talking about today. Arahamya ibintu ndimo kubabwira uyu munsi. You speak out. Uratura. But it has to originate from the Ari kuko kwatura kugomba kwa gushingiye kubiri mu mutima. What is faith? Ese kwizera niki? I'm still giving you the definition of faith. Ndacyaga ubu busobanuro bwo kwizera. A heart has to be convinced. Umutima ugombye kuba ufite kwemezwa. And the mouth has to speak. Kandi nakanwa gakomba kwatura. How did you receive Christ? Ni gute wakiriye Kristo? You first believed? Wabanje kwizera. And then you did what? Urangije uratura. You confess. Uratura. You confess. Uratura. Another verse wundi murongo briefly romans 10 abaromi 10 what does romans 10 say abaromi 10 baratubwira gute let me read the verse uh, let, let me begin with, with verse 1 abaroma 10 umurongo wa mbere brothers and sisters my heart's desire and prayer to god for the israelites is that they may be saved for i can testify about them that they are zealous about god but their zeal is not based on knowledge verse 3 since they did not know uh no i want to skip okay read, read those two verses bene data ibyo umutima wanje wifuza nibyo nsabira abisrael kumana nukugira ngo bakizwe ndabahamya yuko bafite ishyaka ry'Imana ariko ritava 
mu bwenge Let me read verse uh, verse 9 Soma ku murongo wa 9 verse 8 murongo wa 8 But what does it say The word is near you it is in your mouth and in your heart That is the message concerning faith that we proclaim verse 9 If you declare with your mouth come on somebody Hallelujah that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So, ahubgo kuvuga kuti ijambo rirakwegereye ndetse riri mu kanwa kawe no mu mutima wawe. Niryo jambo ryo kwizera iryo tubabwiriza. Ni watuza kanwa kawe yuko Yesu ari umwami ukizera mu mutima wawe yuko Imana yamuzuye uzakizwa. That's it. Period. So, Jesus, now, now, now this is Paul. Mm. We, we've been talking about Jesus, now, now we are coming to Paul. Paul is emphasizing the words of Jesus. Now, Paul is saying that if you believe with your heart, that's conviction. And confess with your mouth. No, no, that is confession. You will be saved. Now, no wonder why you are still troubled by a lot of things. You pray and things fail. You try this and does it work. So, you, you, you engage in a convinced heart and a confessing tongue. This too that the devil cannot withhold. This too that the devil cannot stop, cannot hinder. It cannot reverse. You bring this to the devil is finished. Your heart has to be convinced. And your lips, your and your mouth has to confess. confess what you believe. Believe and confess. Confess what you believe. Believe and confess. These two things have been going together for a long time. Number three. Action. There are certain things that need that requires you to step out and 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 do something. You take a step of faith. You rise up irrespective of the surrounding circumstances. Irrespective of the circumstances that, that, that are coming against you. Irrespective of what people are telling you and what your, your, your feelings are telling you. And you take a step of faith. Things work. Look at the children of Israel. They came to the to the to the to the river Jordan. They were stuck. Actually, the Bible says that during that season the river had flooded. All the banks were full of water. And the Lord spoke to Joshua. Command the, the, the priests who carry the ark of the Lord. To go before the people. And step into the Jordan. Let them step into the waters. Water was still there until it felt their feet. Actually, 
at the Red Sea, it was Moses who struck the waters. Ni Mose, umugara guimana Mose, warambitse ingoni kumazi aratandukana. Because they are, they were still baby Christians. In fact, they were very close to Egypt that they could return any time. So it was like God was doing everything for them. But now that they were, they were approaching the Canaan land, and actually Canaan was just a throw stone away, just across. And they had been in the desert for 40 years. They had now to exercise their faith. Hallelujah. So the Lord spoke to their leader. Joshua. Tell the priest who carried the ark. Take steps. Step on the waters. When they did so, guess, guess what happened? The water felt the presence of the Lord. And it began to move backwards. Have you ever seen have you ever seen a river flowing in a reverse order? It has, it had, it had never happened until then, and it has never happened up to now. You need, in most cases, to take action, to step on the, to step, to step your feet on the waters. And they will reverse. To God be the glory. So it takes these three components to have full faith. When your heart is fully convinced about God's promises, your mouth begins to confess what you, what you believe. You stand up and take action against what is standing before you. Miracles begin to happen. They begin to happen. Let me give you a simple example. You are dealing with a mountain of poverty. You have debt here and there. And you want to overcome that. Will you stay at home and pray and that is all? In fact, when you do that, you become poorer and poorer. After having understood the promises of God, after having understood His love for you, you pray and believe. Then you take a necessary action. If it is a business, you can begin small, but it will grow. You get my point? Mm. It will grow. If it is, if it is seeking for, for unemployment, you take a step and look for one. So you don't sit back and wait. I always hear believers saying that, oh, I'm praying, I'm praying. I'm praying. These things, we, 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 we get money. I'm praying. Yes, pray. What prayer does, it opens doors. What you do, you walk through those doors. 
Haraba haraba Kristo benshi cyane uva bavuga nabuze iki ndasenga ndacyasenga nkomeje gusenga ntibiraza gusenga nibyiza icyo gusenga bikora nuko bikingura imiryango iyo miryango rero yimaje gukingura wowe ni wowe ukomanga ukinjira you walk through those doors winjira muri iyo miryango when you don't walk through them iyo dahagurutse ngo yinjiremo the, the, the doors we will swing open Imiryango izakomeza ikinguye but miracles will be on the other side ibitangaza bizaba kubandi but you won't get to them ariko wowe ntuzabibona because you have not taken a single Kuko step ko nta 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 utije steri ntambwe yo kwizera may the lord increase your faith ndasenga ngo imana izamure kwizera i want kwa us to join the apostles of jesus ndagira ngo natwe tube mu itsinda ry'intumwa za yesu as they said to jesus lord teach uh, increase our faith nkuko intumwa za yesu zamusabye ku kongera kwizera let us pray to the lord tonight natwe reka dusenge iryo sengesho uyu mugoro to increase our faith imana twongerere kwizera to grow our faith imana itume turera dukuze kwizera kwacu to show us what to do and where to go to have our faith increase to imana twereke cyo gukora naho dukuriye kujya kugira ngo kwizera kwacu kwiyongere believe the lord izera imana trust the lord iringira imana he is faithful imana irizerwa if abraham was able to get a child at 100 years of age Niba Abraham arashoboye kubona umwana ku myaka ijana I don't think your case is worse than the case Kabo of Abraham Ntabwo nekereza ko ikibazo cyawe kirenze ikibazo cya Abraham No way Ntabwo byashoboka If Abraham believed and waited until he received Niba Abraham arashoboye gutegereza kugeza ubwo yakiri isezerano ry'Imana Abraham took all these three steps Abraham yagenze muri buno buryo butatu twavuze One he was convinced Icyambere afite kwemezwa ku muti We read that. Ibyo twabisomye. Number 2 he confessed. Icya kabiri byo yizeraga yarabyatuye. Because he changed his name. Kubera ko ahinduye nizina rye. Number 3 took action. Icya gatatu yateye intambwe yo kwizera. When he saw the angel of the Lord he went to meet them. Abonye marayika w'Imana yagirukansa ajya kubasanganira. That was a step. Iyo ni ugutera intambwe. And actually it was the same angel who gave them who gave him a promise that next year by this time you shall have a baby. Kandi wa marayika yasanganiye ni wowe bahaye iryo sezerano arababwira ati none haho bigeze umwaka utaha nk'iki gihe muzaba mukikiye umwana w'umuhungu. So some of us we fail to take action. Beshi muri twebwe rero tunanirwa gutera intambwe. And the angels pass by. Aba marayika batunyuraho. Yet they have our promise. Kanda ba malaika baba afite amasezerano. He sacrificed his cow for yeah. them. Yatambye imfizi ye arayibabagira. Actually the angel gave the promise after having eaten. Mu byukuri malaika yatanze isezerano amaje kwijuta. We take steps, necessary steps. Dutere ntambwe zisabwa zose. You see there are certain buildings that have automatic doors. Hari inyubako zimwe zifite imiryango yikingura cyangwa kikinga. So these doors do have sensors. Ayi miryango ifite ama sensor irumva. So when you stand in a distance let's say three meters away. Iyo hagaze nka metre eshatu hafi y'urwo ruji. It won't open. Nta urwo ruji rwakinguka. You keep on moving as if you're going to collide with it. Urakomeza ukarwegera nk'ugiye kurugonga. And it opens. Hanyuma rwo rwakuvu hageze rugakinguka. Praise God. Yes ashimwe. When Abraham received this the Lord and the angels. Abraham yakiri imana na malaika wayo. He sacrificed he butchered he butchered the cow and 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 roasted it for them. Yababagiye inka arotsa. That was his step. Iyo yari ntambwe yo kwizera. It was that step that triggered the the, the, the Lord to give the promise. Niyo ntambwe yasembuye isezerano gusohora and to also save his nephew that is Lot. Kandi niyo ntambwe yatumye Lot mubyarawe acungurwa isodomu. There are certain things we do that will open our doors. Hari ibintu runaka dukora mu nzu y'Imana bikingura urugi. You want to prosper. Urashaka gutera imbere. You want to achieve certain goals. Hari intego runako ushaka kugeraho. But you cannot save something. Ariko ntabwo washobora kugira ikintu ubika. You cannot give even to the Lord. Ni washobora no gutanga nguha Imana. People talk about tithing. Uh, 
Offering, thanksgiving, it's none of your business. Yeba vuze kuguta anga ibya chumi amaturo amaturo yishimwe amaturo yose nibi kureba. You don't make friends. Na go ujiri shuti. There are certain necessary steps people take that open doors that trigger the 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 the. the, the uh, the promises to be released. Hari ibintu runaka umuntu akora wabikora bigafungura amarembo y'umugisha runaka cyangwa amasezerano runaka kugira ngo asohore. May the Lord increase you on every side. Ndasenze ngo Imana ikwagure kuri buri ruhande. We are going to pray. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that the unfolding of your word gives light to the simple. And gives understanding. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. First and foremost, increase our faith. Some of us do have faith, but on its lowest level. Father, I pray that you may stir us up. Increase our faith. Open the eyes of our understanding. May we come to know to have a full revelation of the Son of God. Then every mountain will be leveled. Every mountain will be cast into the sea. And every valley raised. Lord, I'm praying for every single child of yours who is, who is facing a lot of challenges. Stand with them, encourage them. Bless them in the name of Jesus. Stretch forth your hand and touch their lives. Let your kingdom come. I rebuke the spirit of unbelief. I rebuke the spirit of doubt. I rebuke the spirit of fear. That hinders us from believing and trusting the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let your spirit rise on the inside of us. Let the spirit of faith rise on the inside of us. Your glory fill our lives, my God. Bless the church. Bless your people. Encourage your people. Sanctify your people. In the name of Jesus. Yes, we are winners. Yes, we are more than conquerors. Yes, we are champions. Yes, we are children of the Most High. But let those things become a reality in our everyday life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let every mountain be leveled. Lord, bless your people. Bless your children. Bless the church. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. To God be the praise and the glory. Receive the word of the Lord. And may the Lord abundantly bless you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you very much. Now, before we come to the end of our service, we are going to give our tithes, we are going to bring our tithes and give our offerings to the Lord. You see, there are some people, when they hear the word of the Lord, they get blessed. But when it comes to this level of giving to the Lord, it's like they are not concerned. So all of us, let us prepare ourselves and give to the Lord, praise God. Bring our tithes, give our offerings, thanksgiving, fast fruits, and everything in the name of Jesus. The numbers are running down there on your screen. So you can either 
give your offering or bring your tithe to that mobile money number that you see down there. Or you can transfer to our bank account. Both numbers appear on your screen. So you can read them down there and then go ahead and, and tithe or give your offering. Father, bless your people as they are giving to you. Data and the sense Let everything they do be blessed and multiply. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead now. Let's go ahead and uh, tithe to the Lord in the name of Jesus. You can see the numbers are there. Uh, Let's go to Psalm 103. Psalm 103. All right. May the Lord bless you. Those that are done, please thank you. And those who are still in the process, go ahead. Thank you for having been with us. We are coming to the end of our service tonight. We are meeting again on Sunday. Sunday, it is always in the morning from 10 o'clock to 12 midday. Meet you then. God bless you. Shalom. Have a good night.